What is up guys, today I'll be showing you how to play Animal Crossing New Horizons on your computer using a Nintendo Switch emulator called Ryujinx. So what you'll need to do first is go to the Ryujinx Animal Crossing build. I will link this in the description. So on this page scroll to the download link which you will find at the bottom and go ahead and download the Windows version. When this is downloaded, open up the zip file and drag the publish folder to your desktop. Now open up the publish folder and search for the reagings.exe and open this up. It will give you a warning that the key file was not found. So go ahead and click on OK. Now to be able to play games on Ryujinx, you'll need to have the keys file and the Nintendo Switch firmware. So I've uploaded a folder that includes both of these files, which I will link in the description. So go ahead and click on download. When this is downloaded, open up the zip file. Then drag the firmware and the keys file to your desktop. Now go to Reagenx, go to File, Open Reagenx Folder, and open up the System Folder, and drag your keys file into this folder. Now close Reagenx, and open it up again. Now to install your firmware, go to Tools, Install firmware and install firmware from zip. Then go to your desktop where your firmware is located and select the firmware zip file and click on open. Click on yes. Now your firmware is installed. Now once again close Rejinx and open it up again. Now you'll need to download the actual Animal Crossing game. So go to the subreddit of Switch NSPs and search for Animal Crossing New Horizons there. So once you've found and download the game, go to Options, Settings, go to Game Directories and Browse. Now select your folder where your Animal Crossing game is located. And click on Add. Go to input and set your keyboard buttons as in-game controls. Now click on save and your games will show up. You can play Animal Crossing from the beginning so you don't need a save file to start. So just double click Animal Crossing to start your game. Now getting a black screen is normal in the beginning. It will take some time to load as long as you're not getting any error message in this window. You just have to wait until the black screen is gone. 